So I need to find the um, the volume of uh, the solid form when this region right here is rotated around the y-axis. And uh, we already know one way that we could do that. We could, um, well, this is already pretty much solved. So this would be x equals y. Um, we could um, solve this for x. And then we could set up two different uh, integrals. One where we're rotating this curve about the y-axis. And then uh, that would be from 0 to radical 2. And then one where we're rotating uh, this curve around. And that would go from radical 2 up to 2. And um, that would be fine, but it's kind of a lot of work. And uh, there's kind of a better method. And that method is shells, which... Uh, I mean, I assume you're here to see a video about shells, so you already knew that that was coming. Um, so to do that, what we need to do is, um, we're basically going to do this. Uh, 2 pi, the integral from uh, 0 to, uh, so, well, let's say it's, it's from A to B of uh, the radius times the height. And then this will be dx. And then we just have to figure out the radius and the height. So... Um, to do that, the radius is, what I'm going to do is draw through the region um, a vertical line. So, let's say here. Okay, let's take that as an example. And what I'm going to do is um, I move through the region until I get there. And that represents R. So, in this case, um, the R that I'm using if you look at it, is really just x. So it's it's actually the distance from the uh, from the axis to uh, one of the shells that we're making. So in that case, it's just x. So this becomes two pi, the integral. So r is just x times, um, and now the height will just be uh, the distance from here to here. So that's just going to be top take away bottom which is uh, an idea that we're familiar with. So that'll be the top is radical 4 minus x squared minus the bottom, which is that, um, and then dx. Um, and then we need the bounds. So the bounds are, um, it's really just the x values over which you can find the radius. So um, it starts at 0, and you can go all the way out to radical 2. That would be the maximum radius you can get. So the minimum is kind of 0. Um, and then the maximum is radical 2. So we go from 0 out to radical 2. And then we can work that out if we want to. Um, I don't really think I want to. Um, but you can punch it into your calculator and see what happens. Okay, I uh, went back and actually did this uh, without recording it so that you could look at it. And if you wanted to... Uh, Pause the video right now and check your work, because I'm pretty sure this is right. Um, okay, so uh, I hope that is helpful, and uh, good luck.